Last year was amazing. So it was a bit of an experiment last year. And then at the end, all the partners, primarily like the, you know, the art gallery, the city, the folks in the park, were all like literally asking us, are we coming back? So we really took that as a good sign and said, yes, we are for sure. So we're glad to be back. For this second year, they moved from a fall display to the spring. This shift centers around being installed in time for International Sculpture Day. With the return of warm weather, this new tradition will welcome thousands back with a showcase of art in the park. John Hiley's piece, Monarch Dance, is part of a series and is a glass-on-glass -glass mosaic. Monarchs have always been important to me, especially a memory from childhood when I would chase them around the backyard, watch the caterpillars on on the milkweed and I've always been drawn to the colors and the patterns in the wings and when I started doing <clears throat> mosaic glass I was focusing in on uh, nature and biodiversity. Burlington's Tamara Kwapich has been an artist for 30 years working primarily in decorative art and painting. Sculpture is a medium she's only recently added to her repertoire. This piece actually was inspired by a painting of mine, which was inspired by a children's book by Oscar Wilde called The Happy Prince, which I read years and years ago. It's a fabulous book. It, it speaks to empathy and um, love, and it's heartbreaking, but it's so beautiful. So I just, for years, I've been thinking about this, this story and how to translate it. So this is a, a, a war horse. It was once covered in gold, it was in um, a, a palace, and over the years the patina's worn off, the gold's been worn away, and the birds have come back to speak to different times. Having works chosen to show in the sculpture trail means a lot to both local artists. I worked in Burlington for 30 years. Um, I was a teacher here in public school just down the street, so it's really nice to be able to sort of reconnect with students and families and things, and I've been promoting it and getting people to come down and, and see, and I've received lots of, uh, you know, emails or messages on social media about people who've come down. Rain, Karen, we all came walking That's and we so all took photos Did of you it. really? It is the best Thank of you all of them. Thank you so much. That's so, so nice. So good to see you. We're really thankful to Dan Laurie and all the sponsors that have made this possible because there's no grant money involved this year. So this has all been funded by uh, businesses and people like Dan and the community that really support local artists, which is the whole reason we do this. I mean, it just, it bolsters my confidence. I'm, you know, I've only been a few years sculpting and this has really given me, um, yeah, it feels like a hug. <laughs> Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.